Hey there, Aries. What's going on? It is your girl, Raven, the Pink Pet, the Petty. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well because I most certainly am. And so is Odin. He's in his room taking a nap. It is a wonderful day. And so I hope it is. Be, um, I hope that it's a wonderful day for you guys is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. So check it. Uh, let me explain the reading. Okay. Uh, this reading will be for my lovely Aries energies. And here's the deal. You may not even be an Aries. You may just have it somewhere in your chart, your birth chart, that is. Or you may know someone that's an Aries or something like that. And because of that, the message that I read for today can resonate for you a little bit or maybe even a lot. So in either case, I just want you to please take only what resonates. Leave what does not. And by all means, please enjoy the reading. Okay. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you continue to show the channel. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the videos. It certainly helps the channel to grow. And God bless you guys for doing so, okay? All right, Aries. So I'm going to pray over these cards here, and we're going to see what comes out, and then we'll just go from there, okay? <laughs> I haven't channeled a specific message, um, but I have been meditating on your energy. You know, I feel anxiety, you know? Um, so let's just see what's going on here, Aries, okay? Holy Spirit, what's going on here for Aries? <clears throat> Well, it says spiritual court is in session, okay? So someone here could be under judgment at this time, okay? So, like I said, I felt anxiety. Yeah, someone here is under judgment, <laughs> definitely. Um, let's see. What else here for Aries? Someone here may have been trolling your social media platform, your YouTube, your TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram. What else? Okay, it says, I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. So someone may be having trouble with speaking up about how they feel about you. Or maybe they just don't know how to show you. Okay, um, what else? That's a stack. Well, someone here may have gotten dumped. It says in the trash. So something could be in the trash, like literally, or this could talk about how someone got dumped. Or they feel dumped. Or they feel left out or trashed or something. Someone here may have dodged a bullet in a situation here. So maybe maybe someone dumped somebody and they feel like they lost out. But maybe after the situation unfolded, someone, you know, discovered that they actually dodged a bullet <laughs> by being dumped. By getting dumped, I mean, you know. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, sometimes that's the way it, it's the way it happens. I've had it happen to me many times, you know. Someone here may have a same-sex crush on you, and it says thank you. So someone here may be very thankful to you for something. Let's see what else comes out. Okay, someone here may want out of the friend zone, and it says I fucked up. So someone here may have been thrown into the friend zone. Um, maybe after they fucked up doing something against you. Take it how it resonates. Someone here can be involved in some organized crime, you know, like maybe a gang or something like that. They wasn't ready. Cancer. So you may be dealing with a cancer energy here that was not ready for something, you know. So if something didn't work out with a cancer energy, maybe because it maybe it's because they weren't ready. Or, you know, they or this could be you as a cancer cross watching and this Aries wasn't ready for you. <laughs> Take out resonates, okay? You know, put it where it needs to go, guys. But a death spell may have backfired, okay? So someone could be rest in peace in some kind of abundance or whatever it is that they wished ill on for someone else, you know? Okay, so let's get into some other cards here, Aries, and see what else we can dig out in your situation here. Okay, so someone could very much be under judgment, you know, having to face spiritual court. For maybe trolling you or just doing something goofish. And that's a new word. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I just kind of made that one up on the fly. Holy Spirit, what's the vibe here for Aries in this situation? What's going on here? Now, also one thing I want to mention about this Cancer card um, is that it could be the Cancer card in Tarot, which is the Chariot. So this could talk about how someone's moving on from something or somebody too. Okay, so we have recharge here. Breathe, let go, clear your mind. So you may have decided to distance yourself from this energy or this situation because there's a lot of karmic energies here, a lot of haters. And you know what I'm saying? And you're just like, you know what? I'm a hopeful energy here. I'm inspired to have success. I'm optimistic and I don't match with these. So I need to release myself of these people. So this could be 
situation where someone definitely released themselves of toxic karmic energies here who were just doing too much you know because you're in this hopeful inspired energy here you decided to just let this shit go clear your mind of it maybe someone here was being too faced with you you know someone here may have had a double life that could have been cheating on you or someone here may have backstabbed you or backstabbed someone you know in this situation you know put it where it needs to go what else here suffering in silence so someone here could be suffering in silence or just not speaking on how they really feel about something maybe something to do with the family we got blood ties inner circle here so someone here could be suffering in silence about how they really feel about their inner circle or their family someone they got ties to maybe these are the karmic individuals here that they've decided to break away from and and to get a break you know like someone here may be trying to heal themselves or this karmic energy that got left behind, they could be suffering in silence now with the family or the inner circle that they've indulged with. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have you to turn to. You know, they don't have you. They don't have you to turn to anymore. Excuse me, guys. Mercury retrograde. Okay. Uh, yeah, chaos, uh, upheaval, disaster, downfall. I'm telling you, like someone here could be experiencing a downfall right now, going through a disaster, some sort of chaotic issue, something they may have brought upon themselves for being two faced to you. For, you know, cheating on you or backstabbing you or something like that. Or just being in karmic energy of itself of chaos. You know, like someone here may be involved in a chaotic situation, you know, trying to do something they should not have been doing. What else? Now they could be longing for you, missing you. They want to talk now. They want to have a reunion because you've walked away. You may have very well been the light in this person's light, okay? Like someone, it could be reminiscing about all the times where y'all had like y'all may have like drank together or smoked together. Just you know, have fun, chill together. You know what I'm saying? You now, this does not have to be love. This could be friendship, family too. Like you may have been able to be, uh, you may have been the, the one person that this person could come to, you know, and ask for help and support and things like that and advice. You know, now with all this chaos, this storm coming through, you know, this this disaster going through. Now they're missing you. They want to talk. Someone here is like, okay, I've had enough fun. I want to come in now, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you set boundaries with this person, though, Aries, because they were disrespectful to you, maybe. You know, so you had to set boundaries with them and say enough is enough. You had to defend yourself. And so you decided to walk away with the possibilities card here. You decided to make up your mind, believe in yourself, and follow your dreams and leave this whole chaotic situation behind and the karmic energies who choose to indulge in it you're like you know what i don't have time for this yeah you know someone here was taking gambles you know what i'm saying with the nightlife car someone here could be a very partying energy or they may even went to vegas and gamble you know someone here could have a gambling addiction you know and they could have wishful thinking for a second chance with you after you've moved on from them but now you, this is a loss like things are hopeless you know, someone here could be very much depressed also over the fact that, you know, you've walked away and they probably, they probably are pretty much aware that they fucked this up. You know what I'm saying? They're like, they probably just don't know what to do. You know, what else? Aries, let me tell you, I feel some strong energy in y'all's reading. Let me tell you, feminine energy, gentleness, nurturing, mothering. Okay. Okay. So someone here really feels like they messed something up major with a very gentle nurturing energy you could have been very mothering to them very nurturing you know like giving them that that caring support that they probably lacked in their life you know yeah you're having a glow up now and this could also talk about like how if you could be this feminine energy or someone here could be moving on to a feminine energy someone here could be realizing what sort of feminine energy you were you know how kind and nurturing and how gentle you were and now you're having a glow up things are successful you you could be starting a new business a new career new opportunities are here someone if this is a masculine energy moving on someone here this this could be a feminine energy or i know the masculine you know take out resonates you know love is love but what i'm saying is someone here feels very hopeless at the fact that someone is having this glow up a feminine energy is having a glow up here you know, this could, now let me say what feminine energies in tarot, okay? There really is no gender in tarot, okay? So when I say feminine energy, this could be a masculine energy who's just in a feminine energy. And I'm not saying nothing funny. I'm, I mean, not, not that anything's funny. Oh, come on now, I'm not, not trying to offend. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay, y'all? Y'all probably giggling y'all asses off at me. What I'm trying to say is that this could be a masculine energy who is in the energy of birthing, of creating, of, of something taking off for him, something that he's been you know, sitting on for a while, you know, manifesting, you know, like a new project, a new idea, a new career, something like that, you know, so something could be taken off, you know, so take it, have, that's why I say take it, have resonates, okay, it doesn't have to be an actual feminine energy here, or someone sitting in feminine energy, it's just the energy here, okay, 
no gender all right feminine energy is more laid back masculine energy is more action okay all right what else your holy spirit sorry if i over explained that y'all <laughs> All right, waves, emotions, worry, fear. So someone here is in their emotions about something. They could be fearful of something going on here. Maybe some sort of rumors or gossip here that was done because they were being a two-faced mm, to you. I've cleaned up my language a whole lot on this channel, even though it's still like fairly new. <laughs> you know, but I swear every now and then I feel the urge to, to say what I want to say, you know, but I'm trying to be nice. But yeah, someone here could be in their emotions or they wanted you to be in your emotions because they were a two-facing energy here and they may have been gossiping about you or trying to spread rumors about you, you know? Someone here was sipping on you, on your business, but you're divinely protected here with Archangel Michael. This could also call to, I mean, this could also speak to how divine intervention was called on this situation. What else? And I'm going to get some other cards here. running escape denial excuses yes yeah, someone here could be in denial about something somebody's yeah somebody's hiding something it's about to come out this mask car came out in reverse somebody's hiding something they're trying to and they're in denial about it trying to make excuses trying to escape from it and the truth is about to come out the truth is definitely about to come out what's the mask card what are they hiding yeah, someone feels trapped, stuck with no options, and they feel like then when this truth comes out, that or when this mask and when their mask falls off, they know that you're not going to want to forgive them. Yeah, someone here definitely is hitting rock bottom. They're drowning at this time. But this was somebody here who could be very lustful, like they may have had lustful energies around them, like toxic lustful energies, like energies that love drama, who love arguments, who are greedy, that are inconsiderate. Like someone here may have surrounded themselves with these type of karmic energies, you feel me? And now they could be having an epiphany about this, you know, or you may have had an epiphany and realized that this is what was going on with them, that they're a lustful toxic energy. And you decided to cut ties with them because you realized that someone here was just in their ego. We got narcissists. It came out in the reverse, but someone is really very much into themselves in the reverse, you know? So it seems like someone here has had an epiphany that someone is extremely in their ego. They're narcissistic as hell, and they're very lustful, very toxic, and it's just time to cut ties with them. It's just, it's just overdue, you know? That could very well be the energy here. Let me get into some other cards. Okay, Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? For Aries in this situation... Okay, so Aries, we have intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscence. So someone could be reminiscing about a sexual encounter with them or with you or whatever, you know. Take it how it needs to go. What's up with the intimacy? Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Hmm. Someone is having red flags about someone's sexual chemistry with someone else. Someone could be questioning someone's sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Ooh. Take it how it resonates, guys, okay? But someone here may, be, may have been ignoring their intuition about someone's sexual chemistry with someone. And maybe someone's questioning someone's sexuality or someone's still figuring themselves out. They need to follow their intuition about who, who they have sexual chemistry with. Take it how it resonates, okay? What else? They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. So there's going to be communication soon. What's the communication about? Someone wants to confess something. Someone has to tell you something. Confession. So someone here um, may want to confess something to you or to your person or something here. Ooh, what's the confession? Let's see what that T is. Someone wants to take someone out on a date, a water sign, or an earth sign? Hold on. I don't like the way that came out. What's the confession? Manifest. Tell the universe exactly what you want. What's the confession in manifest? Someone is trying to manifest a chance with, with somebody here. Someone wants to take a gamble. 
Someone wants to take a chance and take someone out. Yeah, someone's going through a divorce or, or they're experiencing some kind of breakup here. So someone here could be breaking up with someone. Someone may, okay, this could be someone reminiscing about, this could be a third party situation, y'all, man. It seems to be the the juice of just about, man, all, this, all the, the messages I've been getting, not just for your sign, for all the signs, though. There's a lot of third party situations all through, I swear. But like, okay, there's one that came out in Leo's reading. Okay, but check this out. There's a third party here, and someone is reminiscing about this third party, wanting to be with them. Maybe they were ignoring their intuition about how they felt about them before, and maybe they needed to take some time to figure themselves out, and now maybe they, now they want to come back and confess about how they've been trying to manifest, you know what I'm saying, taking a chance or something like that, maybe, or, you know, maybe through divorce or going to, someone's going through a breakup that's going to involve an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Someone could be divorced in an earth sign energy. What's a divorce? Communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Like someone here could be wanting to communicate to someone that they're, that someone wants to communicate to you that they're getting a divorce, that it's being done now. Like this may have already been, a, if this is like a situation where you, where this person has been telling you they're about to divorce or leave someone, this goes beyond them just saying, oh yeah, I'm divorcing them. No, they're actually going to tell you that it's actually going through now. That someone wants to communicate now, they, they're probably going to come to you and tell you, yeah, I got a lawyer, or, you know, we're going to court, or this has been finalized, you know, saying something like that. Like someone here wants to confess, you know, or, or somebody wants to confess something to somebody that they're already with, something that they're feeling, and this is going to lead to a breakup or a divorce. But it says, yes, luck is on your side. So, yes, if you're, if you're, um, like debating back and forth, you know, like in that Libra energy, like, should I do it? Should I not? Spirit is saying, yes, luck is on your side. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, or, or if this is you, like as another party waiting for this to sort itself out so that you, you know what I'm saying, can come into a union with someone. Spirit is saying, yes, luck is on your side. Someone could be watching though. Someone else. Yeah. Third party is, I told you it's a third party situation. Someone else in spy. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Someone has got their eye on you. Yeah. Someone, the third party could be spying on you or spying on your person or something. Yeah. There's a third party here. Who's like watching. There's a lot of mess going on here. But it seems like it's sorting itself out. Like someone is ready to confess and they're ready to go ahead and go through with a divorce or something. And, and But Spirit is letting you know that there's a third party involved here. Someone here could be watching you too, doing research on you, trying to figure out why this person wants to be with you over them. Yeah, this is a gold digger energy, a narcissistic gold digging ass energy here. Very, very much so. And your person could be moving out of their home with the moving in the reverse. You know what I'm saying? So that they can... Um, Come toward you. There's been some distance here. Yeah, like someone here is someone here could be leaving a third party to come towards you or just to come into union with themselves and just be alone. You know what I'm saying? And just be free. And this energy and this karmic energy is spying. Or someone here could also be um spying on you to see if you're talking to someone else. So if you, I mean, this could go many different ways. If you've got someone else, like, like if there's a, if this is a third party situation, there's someone else involved. There's somebody here watching another party, watching to see who someone's going to move on with. Or this could talk about how this person that you're involved with that has a third party, they're watching you because even though they're still tied up with this third party, they don't want you to move on yet. So they're watching to see who you're going to move on with. Like, I don't know, Twitter how it needs to go, like some funny weird shit <laughs> okay at least bear for my lovely aries energies what else is going on here what's up what else what's up what's up well someone here feels like they're stuck in a nightmare they feel like they're suffering and they're hurt we got the nightmare and accident here so someone here feels like that this is a nightmare they probably didn't mean to cause this sort of injury or accident to somebody like trying to move out of this situation here what's going on here yeah, but someone feels stuck. Confinement with the disturbance. Someone here may have actually tried to send negative energy someone's way. Excuse me. Uh, negative intention someone's way as well. To like keep them stuck in a mindset or something like that. 
Like someone here has been dealing with a nightmare of a situation here, you know, and they're ready to move on. Yeah, someone here is ready to indulge with a sweetheart. They're ready to have unconditional love with someone that's very beloved to them. Beloved by many, maybe even. Excuse me. See, so yeah, so someone here has definitely been suffering, hurting. You know what I'm saying? Feeling like that, that they're stuck and they're ready to set themselves free. Um, this is crazy. Yeah, someone here, like... I'm going to get into some tarot to confirm. Well, really, I'll get into the, the evil eye and find out. But someone here is, is like spreading curses or hate to cause some sort of damage or loss. Someone here may be indulging in black magic. It does not have to be. It could be that someone here has a negative mindset and they're just like focusing on like some sort of bad luck to occur to someone. Someone here wants to cause damage. Some sort of misfortune here. Someone here could be feeling like that they are stuck in a catastrophe here and they're at a loss. Or they want someone to be. Yeah, someone here feels like they failed at something homeless. What's all this about? Why do they feel this way? Because they're separated from you or separated from somebody. Somebody feels like this disaster resulted in losing you. You know what I'm saying? They're out in the cold when it comes to you. You know what I'm saying? Someone feels like that this sort of some sort of disaster or curse that was sent out here may have split you and them up. Someone may have very much been in their imagination vowing for something to happen, like working with people. Hold on, what else is here? I don't know. It's like someone is trying to take down your support system or I don't know. What else is going on here for uh, Aries? I mean, we got death spell backfire. Rest in peace out of here on the board. So you feel me? Someone here could have sent out some sort of dark magic. You feel me? Which resulted in a loss. So now they're failing. Now they're out in the cold. They're homeless. Because that's certainly what they wanted for you, Aries. And they're separated from everybody. Like, that, like, the, like people online probably aren't fucking with them no more or anything. Like, a lot of people may have separated themselves from them as a result of this death spell backfire. So somebody here may have indeed sent something out. To hurt you because you're moving on from them. With the disturbance card, someone thought that if they sent out something towards you, that maybe it would keep you stuck to them or just keep you stuck from moving forward, period. And it didn't work. Yeah, it did. I'm telling y'all. Withdrawal. Death. Someone here may have been using some sort of death or some sort of dark magic here. To like, um, you may have been awakened to this or you, or, you know, because they felt rejected, they may have done this because withdrawal is a rejection card. Like someone here may have gotten broken up with, or you may have ended things with somebody and they got mad and decided to do this. And now they want to repair things with you or something, or someone here may have been using death magic to stop someone from repairing a connection. Oh my God. So let me say this. If you, okay. Like I said, this feels like a third party situation. Okay. But you, but it seems as though this could be a situation where you are and your person are not together. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe they have to fix a situation with their spouse or someone they're with or something like that. You feel me? You know, this could be a situation where someone in the background may have been throwing magic at you and this person reconciling. Like they didn't want for you guys to come back together, you know what I'm saying, and come into union. You know, like someone here was trying to like bring an ending so that they're uh, bring an ending so that something wouldn't be repaired. Between you guys, someone was trying to hurt your, your security and stability, your coins with the saving in reverse. Like someone here was trying to hurt your pockets. <laughs> what else? Or hurt someone's pockets so that they wouldn't be able to move forward. Yeah, but it didn't work because there's victory here with the triumph. And then real estate, wealth, investment, mega project. And then we got alliance, trust, honesty. You know what I'm saying? So your honesty, you know what I'm saying? You have a, a trustful alliance here that's going to, um, you're, or you're about to meet a group of, I don't want to say a group of people, but there's a mega project on the radar here. Something that is going to land you in a billionaire status, like some sort of business or something. So you may be coming into alliance with like other people, other groups, other businesses here. And this is going to be a very big achievement for you. You're about to be very wealthy. Like someone wants to invest into your idea or something. This could also be a real estate project here. And someone here feels very disappointed and alone and stressed out over this because you're about to be comfortable with the sweet dream card here. Like someone knows that you're about to be comfortable. Like you could be moving in with someone here. 
and you're about to have success. You know, even though they try to spread like hate or catastrophe, you're about to have success and you could be moving in with someone or things are going to take off and, or someone's invest. You guys are investing into each other. and It's about to be major. And someone here is very much stressed out because they feel disappointed and alone and left out of this. So now they could have been vowing to do something against you or you guys could be taking vows. What's the vow card? What are they wishing or hoping for? Fright. <laughs> Someone here was vowing for you to lose, for you to be depressed or something. Or someone was hoping that someone would be too paranoid or afraid to move or to move forward or something. Hold on. What's the frightened vow? I said it, magic. There you go, guys. Right, ceremony, magic. Like somebody here was with the worship card here like someone here was worshiping like some sort of deity or dark energy or something like that you know what i'm saying um wanting wishing depression on you or some phobias or paranoia or fright. like someone here wanted you to suffer someone here wanted you to have a disturbance attached to you with this disturbance card like this or disturbed to, or, or attached to your person so that you know you would be stuck or they would be stuck stop because they see you chilling. They see you calm. You're meditating. You have your inner peace. Everything's all good for you. Feel me? Like someone here is mad that you have that or you're about to have that. Yeah, you're receiving good news. <laughs> Look at this shit. We got good news, luck, and self-love. Like somebody knows you're about to hit the big time, baby. There's about to be communication soon. Like someone here is about to hit the lottery. Or like I said, with this real estate card, like in a victory here, like somebody's about to invest into a very major project with someone. You feel me? And it's about to be million, million dollar bills, yo. And you are full of self-love. You're independent in this energy, enjoying this. It wasn't because someone, you know, just gave this to you out of nowhere. It's because you worked hard for it. It's because you had to heal yourself, because you had to believe in yourself, because you had to invest into yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're healing. You're self-healing. They cannot stop you. You're, everything is okay for you. And they are made to feel sorry now for these idiotic ideas they've had with the idea and apology. Their ideas led to, I mean, they, someone here may want to also confess to you about like some sort of idiotic idea they had to come against you too. Let me get into the evil eye oracle, guys. I, I just kind of like, uh, I don't understand people. The haters. Holy Spirit for Aries, what's going on here? What's the haters exposed? The person causing you negativity is an earth sign. So it could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus energy. Does not have to be now. Put it where it needs to go, okay? What else? Because I feel like you may already and truly know who this is. They'll claim, I did it first, knowing damn well they got inspired by you. So whatever project is about to take off you that's going to like put you in this really good status, you feel me? Like when this... Gets, when this goes big, someone's going to swear up and down that, you know, that credit is owed to them for you doing this. Like, oh, I did it first, you know, like, oh, I, or I inspired them to do this, you know. Altering your values and morals on making life decisions. So someone here may have been trying to confuse someone using magic to alter their values and their morals on making life decisions. So someone could be trying to heal or leave a toxic pattern or behavior behind and move into their North Node purpose, you feel me? And let me move on with a soulmate here. And someone here may have been trying to use magic to manipulate someone to stay in a comfort zone, to have a limited uh, approach to things, to have limited thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like a limited thought process, you know? They will play victim once they know that they are losing and the person causing negativity could also be an air sign. That could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius energy that could also be involved in this okay what else someone here could be a fake spiritualist so this could be a charlatan energy you know this could be someone here like if you may have a spiritual practice you feel me and someone here could be trying to copycat off of you and they could be fake or someone here could be faking their spirituality, pretending as though they're as spiritual as you or they're on the same level as you or your person, you know, what I'm saying like trying to mimic, you know, to, to try to stay relevant. And they could be getting called out. But this could also talk about how there's, there's a copycat here who could be trying to copy off of like your practice or something like that. And they could be a charlatan, you know, pretending as though they know what they're talking about and they don't. 
What else? Causing you to miss out or lose an opportunity. So, yeah, someone here was trying to uh, make someone lose out or miss an opportunity. Amethyst. Psychic protection controls spiritual energies while dreaming and can help with insomnia and nightmares. So, spirit is telling you that you may need to get some amethyst. Okay. Um, one more and I'm going to go into some tarot. They are recruiting haters. So, yeah, someone here could be, like, going around trying to recruit other people to, like, evil eye you, you know, you know, just because they, they're bitter about you leaving them behind or whatever. Like, someone here needs to grow the hell up, to be real with you. They really do. <laughs> okay, Holy Spirit, for my lovely Aries energy. What's going on here? Using a different deck of cards this time. I'm using the Pulp Tarot. I don't pull these out too often. But they're very good cards. I love the artwork. Okay, Aries. What's going on here? Three of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands upright, and the Page of Pentacles. There's a group of individuals gossiping about your success and how well you look. Queen of Wands upright, she's very social, very independent, sexy. So, you know, like social butterfly, everyone loves hanging out with her. She's fun, all that jazz. So there's basically some gossip going around about someone's success and how good they look and how well they are doing. Nine of Pentacles confirms what I just said. Okay, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor, your hard-earned success. You feel me? And you're stepping out. You could have new clothes, new shoes, new hair, new whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you're being noticed. You know what I'm saying? And people are talking about you in a good way. You know, Page of Wands in reverse. This could represent how they want to start shit shit started energy bad news this could also talk about how someone here could be trying to like uh downplay your successes you know as you're stepping out into this nine of pentacles they could be going around like oh they didn't really do all of that or oh, they didn't really have to go you know like, i don't know like someone's a hater confirmation <laughs> someone's a hater what else Five of Swords in reverse. This could be someone that you've gotten into a fight or a conflict with in the past, or someone has a past resentment, or someone has a desire to forgive something that happened in the past, or they want you to please forgive them of a fight that you and them had in the past. What's the Five of Swords in reverse about? The Knight of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, like some sort of turn down let down someone may have gotten rejected someone to be moody or jealous of something what's the knight of cups in reverse so you may have turned someone down in the past it could be someone you've turned down who's mad at you page of pentacles in reverse yeah because someone could be like uncon like non-committal greedy like have commitment issues they procrastinate So there could be a past resentment around someone that you turned down in the past. They may have, maybe because, you know, I don't know, like something was off to them. Like they, they don't got nothing going on. Five of Cups, you know, that's a resentful, like disappointing energy. Hold on. What's this Five of Cups here? What's going on? Someone's sad about something. Or someone's disappointed at somebody. Will of Fortune in reverse karma. Bad luck, no control, a negative cycle, a negative phase. So someone here is watching you walk out on stage. And when I say that, I'm saying that as a metaphor, although it could really be the case. Someone here could be turned into a whole celebrity over here. You feel me? Excuse me. And I really pray, you know, that's the case because I want everybody to win. You feel me? But what I'm saying is that you could be stepping out on this metaphorical stage. You feel me? And someone that you had some sort of conflict with in the past, you know, they're feeling a little saddened about you doing this because they're noticed. I mean, because they in the past, they may have rejected or turned. Like, I really feel like this is somebody that didn't give you a chance when they should have. You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. Someone's like, damn, I didn't think the Aries would actually you know, have this type of glow up. Like, I didn't think that he or she would look this good or be this good or they would be this focused or they would be this accomplished, you know. And, like, in the, like someone may have really doubted you. Like, someone may have turned you down or rejected you in the past. And you guys may have had some sort of conflict or disagreement about this. It doesn't have to be a major one, you know. Just things didn't work out, you feel me? This was a past resentment. So someone now could be wanting to for you to forgive them for, for turning you down. 
Someone may want to come in and communicate about how they had commitment issues in the past. And now, and they've, and you know, and they, and they have a resentment or a disappointment about missing a chance with you or something. <laughs> what else? Seven of Cups in reverse. Like someone here could be going through a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, illusions. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? Someone here made a bad decision. Ah. Now, I have a feeling we're about to get into the dark magic portion of this, okay? But we got the death Scorpio energy with the Ten of Pentacles. They're both upright. Um, someone is experiencing bad luck right now because they're facing an ending with like a home situation. Like their home stability can be affected at this time. You know what I'm saying? Like the bills aren't getting paid or losing, the, like someone could be losing jobs. Or this could talk about how someone felt like you were going to be their Ten of Pentacles and they feel like they're going through bad luck because when they slept on you, now they see that this is going on. So they're just like, damn, that possibility is out the window, like a lost opportunity. Yeah, Ten of Cups, like someone's dream, someone just knew their dreams were going to come true with you or something. Or they, now they see that it could have came true with you. I don't know, like something weird is going on here. What else? What else is going on here for Aries? Okay, we got the Page of Cups in reverse, which could talk about someone immature, oversensitive, someone who has trouble expressing how they feel. This can involve kids, too. What's the Page of Cups in reverse? Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody's immaturity is about to blow someone's mind. <laughs> I, I hear event in my head like somebody's about to do something that's about to be quite eventful and it's really about to show you how immature they are and it's going to blow your mind what's the page of cuts reverse with the two of swords reverse four of swords like somebody needs to sit down somebody's reckless what else what's the what's this two of swords page of cuts reverse i'm telling look y'all ten of swords queen of wands in reverse Ten of Wands, which is like burdens, responsibility. And then I got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom. Yeah, uh, somebody's immaturity, somebody's recklessness <laughs> is like causing all kind of like, like, they're making bad decisions is what I'm trying to get at. Ten of Swords, that's a painful ending, wounding, betrayal. Ten of Wands, like all, these tens are endings here. Queen of Wands in reverse. That's someone who's jealous and secure. Somebody who likes to look good and get all the attention. Someone who's promiscuous. Someone who sleeps around. Has a lot of suitors. So you could be dealing with someone here who's very immature. Okay? <laughs> very immature. And they really don't know what they want to do with themselves. Like that. I mean. And this is someone who creates burdens everywhere they go. Not trying to like bash someone here. But this is someone here who carries around a lot of like burdens what's the ten of wands here and the ten of swords someone's trying to burden you by an ending by some sort of betrayal or someone is has burdened you in the past by betraying you the knight of pentacles virgo energy what's the knight of pentacles queen of cups in reverse queen of swords in reverse King of Cups is upright with the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Ooh, a lot of investigation went on here. Yeah, the Fool in Reverse. Okay, there is somebody looked into something. The Knight of Pentacles can be seen as an investigator because he's focused, you know, eyes on the prize, you know, what he's got going on, trying to achieve a result or bring some sort of proof to something or somebody. You know what I'm saying? So... Somebody's been investigated. Now, this could be an actual real, like, you know, investigator. Or, hold on. What is on this card? Hold on, guys. I'm trying to figure out if this is a part of artwork or somebody scribbled on my card, but it's a message.
sign off energy. It looks like someone's signature is kind of scribbled across the title here. So that's what I was staring at. I never really noticed that before on these cards. I was trying to figure it out like maybe I accidentally did that with a pen or something, but I think it came that way. What I'm saying here is that someone's about to find out for sure who the hell did this betrayal or something here. Somebody's being looked into. Someone's getting a sign off, like getting somebody to like sign off on what they did. There, are, someone here is scared. Be someone here is afraid of being found out for some sort of magic they may have done. There. What's this Queen of Wands reverse? Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. Somebody was doing something under the moon, y'all. The moon's in reverse. Something's about to come out. What's the moon in reverse? And then we got all these queens in reverse. Yeah, this is a coven, I feel like. The four of pentacles and the six of swords. Hold on. What's this moon in reverse? I'm y'all, the three of pentacles. Like somebody was working together under the moon here. Maybe on a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection or some sort of contractor connection. Like some this is the lovers card, which is Gemini energy, by the way, could also talk about. Like an agreement, you know, like you being in agreement about doing something with somebody. So somebody here may have like had some sort of agreement, like some sort of contract with somebody to maintain control over somebody who was walking away. Yeah, with the lovers here and the, the four pinnacles, like somebody was trying to maintain control. Remain, I said main. Oh, goodness gracious. Mercury retrograde. <laughs> somebody was trying to maintain control over a, set, over a person or a situation you know, somebody who was walking away from them with the Six of Swords. Like, somebody's moving on. And then with the Eight of Cups in reverse, that's like someone trying to get somebody to keep trying one more time. Like, don't move away from me. We got the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse. Like, somebody here was, like, somebody was working with, like, maybe two other feminine energies. And they don't have to be feminine now. But they will, this is a coven of, like, witch bitches. Okay? I'm going to say it. They're witch bitches. You know what I'm saying? And they were doing something reckless. And they're being investigated. They could be facing like spiritual. Like they could be under judgment right now. Because they're being investigated. And this investigator. This Knight of Pentacles is going to find out what this Ten of Swords is. Like who was on this. Like like I said. I see signatures on here. Like it looks like like two different like signatures. Like it's scribbled. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like this Knight of Pentacles is going to find out like who was involved in this betrayal here what they were doing under the moon here to create some sort of burden with the ten of wands here like somebody was working together like on this three of pentacles card like it's a group of people like like working on a bank heist or something and they got like a map drawn out and like circling where the pinnacles are and all that shit like i'm saying like somebody here was working under the moon here with a group of people to try to make some to stop something or somebody yeah, somebody here might have been given to a deity or something here with a six of pentacles to trap somebody with the hangman. You see how he's like caught in a trap on a rope here and he's like hanging freely like that. And then like people are just like ignoring him, like walking around him and stuff like not trying to help him out. Like somebody was really trying to get somebody caught up in a situation here, y'all. This could be a masculine energy, an emperor, a divine masculine energy. And look, the justice is in reverse. That's uh, Libra energy. And the emperor, you know, that's y'all's car, Aries energy. Yeah, someone here could have been, this could involve a masculine. Or this could talk about how you are on your throne here. Or this could talk about, how, this emperor could be ready to fight because he got his dukes up in his picture. So this could also talk about how this masculine energy could be finding out about this injustice here. Libra energy with the justice in reverse. And now they're ready to fight. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. Like somebody could be finding out the truth about what someone was doing against them behind their back. To or maybe to an empress energy. We got the empress card here with the emperor, the emperor, and the empress. That's that spells out like divine connection, significant soulmate connection here. Holy Spirit, what's the emperor and the empress? Somebody may have attacked a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection. What's the empress and the emperor? Four Pentacles reversed with the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, someone got emotional baggage. Someone here has unfinished business. And they feel like they need to be greedy and, and maintain control over something or somebody. Like, somebody here feels like they can't let this emperor or, the, or this empress and or both go. Like, this could be exes on both sides. It doesn't want to let this couple go. Somebody needs to stop. What else? Okay, I don't like the way that fell out. Let me do another shuffle.
Okay, Holy Spirit, what else about this Empress and Emperor? Okay, we got the Nine of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Swords. Now, let me say this. The Nine of Swords in reverse can mean a couple of things. One is like looking at the light at the end of a dark tunnel, like coming out of depression, insomnia, all that stuff. That could also it could also talk about being in such a stage of depression or like despair that someone seriously needs to consider reaching out for help. Like someone here could be having like those kind of dark thoughts. You feel me? And I'm saying that here because the Three of Swords came out with it. So someone here could very very much be heartbroken. Over the fact that this emperor has found this empress or vice versa. Like someone here has sought out the light at the end of the tunnel when it came to a heartbreaking situation. And they're ready to come into union with their empress. Someone here could be like very much in their head about someone moving away from them. Yeah, someone feels like this is bad news with the page of wands reversed and they're facing judgment. Or, you know, someone here could be facing bad news in a form of judgment. What's the Page of Wands reverse? Or someone here was starting shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what this is. The Page of Wands reverse talks about uh, creating conflict, shit starter energy. Someone here is facing judgment for, for starting shit between an empress and an emperor energy. Like someone here may have been responsible for like a twin flame separation or something. Yeah, someone here could be like at a loss now. Five of Pentacles, like in a state of poverty and need, worrying about what's going to happen. What else? Ace of Cups in reverse, like someone's at a loss here, like their heart's broken. Because they're seeing somebody move on. They're being released. The devil in reverse. You know, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone here could be letting go of a sexual addiction. Someone here could be letting go of their toxic ways, their player energy. This emperor could be like letting go of a sex addiction. Or the empress, I mean, we, you know, females, we get them too, you know. But you know what I'm saying? Like somebody here could be letting go of their toxic ways, their player style ways here. So that they can be on the right vibrational path to come into union with their empress here. They're walking away from it. Eight of Cups. They're walking away from it. You know, they're, they're, they're understanding that juggling does them no good. They know that juggling only brings them emotional disappointment, a loss. And like, there's nothing to be gained here. Someone is transforming, so that transforming for their past nature so that they can come into union, you know, saying with their twin flame and their empress here. Yeah, the world is here. They're ready to complete a chapter. They're ready to start a new cycle. They're ready to reap the rewards and, and enjoy the success here. Yeah. Someone here successfully completed a chapter when it came to a past life karmic energy here who was trying to keep them stuck with the Six of Cups in reverse. You know, this could be someone they got kids with or someone they grew up with or ex energy or a past life karmic, you know what I'm saying? Like someone here has, has, has found balance and they're stable in themselves and they're happy now. Like, dude, they can't, they can't be stopped now. This, this relationship cannot be stopped now. It can't be stopped. What else? Yeah, someone here is getting some sort of truth and clarity about a situation here. And with the Six of Swords in reverse, they got unfinished business with somebody. I really feel like this emperor may have unfinished business with this empress after gaining some sort of mental clarity or having a mental breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here is not going back. They're not going back. The fool, they're not going back. New beginnings, you know, and love, abundance, everything. Like someone's taking a risk. Someone's taking a leap of faith. And they have, they have luck on their side. The tower. Someone, this is going to be a, a wake up, a shake up. You know, things could be changing. A revelation. This could be a revelation for someone here. You know, someone here is starting to understand that they got to move on. They've got to leave this shit behind, and they're definitely doing it. What else? The lovers. I told you. Gemini energy. Okay, yeah, so somebody is ready to come into union. Someone here is taking a leap of faith. They're having a tower moment. They're having this sudden realization, this upheaval. You know, not, it doesn't have to be chaos. This could be a good tower. Like, oh my God, this is my baby. This is my twin flame. This is my divine counterpart. I do need to come into union with them, and I need to stop juggling with the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone knows. Someone freaking knows. Let me get you some advice here, Aries. Wow, okay, Holy Spirit, what's the advice here for my lovely Aries in this situation? Comfort. How can you bring more comfort into your life? You can increase your comfort through tangible things such as soft clothes and food and intangible things such as thinking loving thoughts about yourself and inviting peace into your own heart. So Spirit is saying to invite comfort into your life, okay? You may have already done this or you may be seeking it out. 
What else? Or you're about to be comfortable. <laughs> Things are about to be good. Believe you're about you're at, you're being asked to fully believe in yourself and your dreams. It's time to it's time for that idea that's lived inside your heart to be brought into the world so that others can benefit from it. Believe that you can bring it to life and you will do exactly that. So spirit is calling on you to believe in yourself and your dreams, okay? Because abundance is before you, okay? We got abundance here. What else? Pay attention. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given, both the subtle ones and the ones that can't be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. So Spirit is saying to pay attention to the signs around you, the signs of the universe, you know, red flags, trust your intuition, you know. All right, so I'm also going to get you a Hip Hop Queen's Oracle for your takeaway advice, Aries. Holy Spirit, for my lovely Aries, what's the takeaway advice here? All right, so you guys have pulled Aaliyah, the baby girl. <laughs> All right, um, her card means angel, okay? And FYI, Aaliyah is a Capricorn, for those who did not know. Let me read up on her card. All right, the key words for Aaliyah's card mean um, divinity, angelic guidance, direction, protection, and advice. And Aaliyah card suggests you should talk to your angels. Sometimes when we are feeling lost, we forget that there's an entire support system above just waiting to guide us. They can be loved ones who have passed on or angels we've never met before, eager to serve and to protect us. But believe this, when, we, when you talk to angels, they listen. So when your sources of information on earth are not providing you with answers, ask your angels for help and they'll send you signs. And if at first you don't succeed, try again. Yeah, so Spirit is saying to please call on your angelic guidance when you need direction, okay? You know, um, you could be feeling lost or maybe you did in the past, but Spirit is just gently reminding you to don't forget that you have a Spirit team at your disposal, okay? All right, so Aries, I'm going to end the reading there. <laughs> and I really hope that resonated for you, okay? Please hit the thumbs up for your girl, you know what I'm saying? And please share the video if you can. It really does help the channel to grow. Um, I want to thank you guys again so much for all the love and support. And briefly mention that I do have playlists available for all the signs. So please check them out because there could also be additional messages, okay? I'm going to get out of here and into the next reading. And I'm going to see you guys later. I love you. Bye.